Hey everybody, Nick Banks plays here. Today I'm going to go over a deck that is undefeated in the World Championship. So a top caliber play. This deck has not lost a game so far in the World Championship Legend of Terra. It is Vigar Senna Darkness. And I think it's really cool. I think it's one of the coolest control decks that come out using two enchants, Senna and Vigar, to discount your darkness, buff your darkness, and then eventually kill the enemy of Nexus with your darkness. So let's get into it. All right, this deck is centered around a card called Darkness. Let's just read it. Three mana slow spell, deal two to an enemy. Now, at first, this may not seem the greatest, but you buff it so it does more damage, and you discount its price. Um, use cards like Otterpus. This is a good chump blocker that gives you a tune, and you can also prank things. Conchologist can give you value while also being a good blocker. Darpo Accolade is insanely good. This is your cheapest card that gives you a Darkness. It also has Augment, so it gets bigger when you play created cards. Pokey Sick, good one damage ping to help uh, get rid of you know small, aggressive enemy units while also drawing you a card. This card is really important. So you're going to 3-2, strike, grant your darkness everywhere at one extra damage. If they don't kill on the first strike, and then you block with it next turn, you actually buff your darkness permanently by two. That's huge. So even this going from two two damage to three damage is already big, but if you can get a f to four damage, that's that's pretty important. So very good card. Vile Feast is just good. Control, you know, get rid of a one health enemy, get another blocker. Stress defense can help make your opponent's big threats weaker, like Scion, or also keep yours alive. Like they say, they try and thermogenic beam a Vigar for four damage. You can keep him alive with stress defense. Three Stilted Roadmaker. This card reduces the cost by dar of darkness. It's the only card that does that, um, besides leveled Senna. And it's just very good to have so many darkness generators. You're playing darkness all game, and then you're able to just make them cost less. And over time, you're getting so much value from all the discounts. Uh, we have Vigar, this is pretty much the main card of the deck. So when he summon, he gives you darkness, that's good. Then, round start, grant your darknesses everywhere for the rest of the game one extra damage. If you could have him sit there for multiple turns, then your darkness becomes so, so much damage. He levels, you dealt 12 plus damage to your darkness, and when he's leveled, you can now hit the enemy nexus with your darkness. So the goal is to level him and then one shot, kill the enemy nexus with your darkness. Vigar also gives you a darkness on round start in his level of form if you don't already have one. Two hidden pathways, easy refuel, easy to get the thing that makes you draw extra. We have Senna, Senna's pretty important. So she gives you a darkness when she's summoned and when she attacks, which is one of the main ways you can keep getting more and more darknesses. Uh, on top of this, all your cards that do damage or kill enemies, like your spells, uh, are fast now. So if you have any slow speed spells, then they're fast now. That's, that's pretty much just darkness in this deck. Um, two withering well, good control, good heal. Exali Sentinel, so this card's really good. It gives you darkness if you don't have one, and you can use it on enemy, and then it also copies that same darkness to hit the nexus on top of that. And it has lifesteal, so it kind of helps you with the healing, the controlling, all that good stuff. Levels of Vigar very fast, very good. Uh, many more to deal with all kinds of threats, and the Rekindler to reborn Senna or your Vigar. Um, yeah, that's the deck. Pretty straightforward control deck, centered on darkness and two new champions. I think it's really good, it's doing amazing right now in the world, so let's take it for a spin. All right, up against Plunder, one of the highest winner decks in the game right now. I will be honest, I'll come clean. I'm going to be learning it with you guys while I'm playing. I haven't played this deck very much before, so we're going to learn it together. We definitely want to keep a Twisted Catalyzer. I don't think we'll need this quite yet. I don't think you can keep two of these. Maybe want some refill Conchologist. I think we're just going to... Well, and I guess the Otter Post is pretty good too. I'll right, try and get Otter Post. Against Plunder, you want to make it very hard for them to get the trigger, so having a woman at Blocker could block their Jagged Butcher. But we didn't get one. That's totally fine, though. Oh, we did get one. Alright. So I'm going to pass turn one in case he has Parlay. So he's forced to hit my Nexus instead of my Otter Plus. If he plays a unit, then I can play my own unit. Honestly, Pranking's really good in this matchup. This could, like, ruin to make it rain for them or something. Um, okay, that was extremely bad hits. We really, really wanted to hit the spells, so they have a hard time trying to plunder and trying to level up their uh, their guys. Um, not much to do here. We could block it so it's in vile feast range and try and vile feast, but I'm not sure if that's even worth it. I guess we'll just take it for now. This is interesting. I'm kind of, again, I'm very new to this deck, so. Um, I think we'll play this later. I think we just manifest right now. Um, Purple Bear Shake could be good. 
keep our guys alive from some of the one damage pings. Like, we could stop a parlay or like a make it ring killing this. Not the greatest card, but not the worst card. It's cheap. We don't have much mana either right now. So at least if he plays this, we can kill it. Okay. Hopefully he took a card that revolves around darkness, because we don't really mind that. He's not like buffing his darknesses or anything. This can get a pretty clean hit on here. And hopefully we can have this live multiple times. Uh, or it gets effect multiple times. This only has one attack, two defense. So if you attack here, he tries to make it rain, we get perfectly a shake. Gets health back up and try and strike again for a buff darkness. So he goes for the make it rain here. Um, interesting spot. Yeah, I think we're gonna use it to keep this alive. If I block here, it's better. Because this will have 3-2 afterwards instead of being a 3-1. I guess it doesn't make a difference, actually. But I, I guess this one, this baits him. Okay, this bait him into blocking, for sure. And I want to give it a crack shot, I guess. It's not bad. It's not a bad way to look at it. Getting rid of crack shot's pretty good in this matchup. So back to the 3-2 due to the prepare shake. Pretty good. We have now... I think, is this reshock once or twice with that? Just one time, right? Yeah, just one time. All right, so here, we're gonna go ahead and get our darkness now. So they deal three to an enemy because we struck with this, grant darkness ever one extra damage. Um, okay. Interesting, Vigar. I guess first things first is we can just play this here. The Augment will buff that, and it'll be harder for him to get his Plunder Trigger. He's only 1 out of 5. This will be 2 out of 5. This could be a safe time to play Bygar. <laughs> I was hoping he would steal a card that wasn't very good for him, because a lot of our cards are very specific to Darkness. Um, I am somewhat afraid of Hired Gun, but I think we're good. We'll play Vigar now, because now we have a Round Start, Grand Arts everywhere at 1 extra damage. The earlier you can get this on the board safer, the more you'll reap the benefits of the buff darknesses. And we have Senna, so this is going pretty good overall, I think. Yeah, this 3-4 for, for 3. I mean, for 3 it's fine, it's just like a old bad degree. It's actually still pretty good, but it could have been a lot worse for us. So he warning shots here to Monster Harpoon, because he already has this that turn. It must be Monster Harpoon, yeah. Alright, let's play the Monster Harpoon here, go to Vigar, and we won't get the buffs. Definitely pretty good for him uh, to not let us get the increased damage in darkness over and over again. But we still have a catalyzer to do that, which is nice. I guess we can just go ahead and kill this. Seems pretty good. Do we need the doing? We can just bank spell mana potentially. We have three plus seven. Like next turn we can do like Senna. And Twisted Catalyzer. So he steals another card. Same as last time, he shouldn't have the greatest steals. Maybe he'll attack here to trade these down, which I'm totally cool with. Because then we're getting um, another buff. So we get one more buff off Twisted Catalyzer. Very good. Alright. We'll just pass. Pretty good. He's still only at 3 to 5. So... We can just go with Senna here, I think. Oh, this costs okay. This costs five too. Yeah, okay. So we can do we can do Senna plus with the Catalyzer plus Darkness. So a cool play you can do with Senna. Hope I can show you. I'm not sure if I'll be able to. You might have Monster Harpoon. But usually you um you Darkness an enemy while attacking with Senna. So when Senna attacks, you get another Darkness. But it doesn't seem like uh he wants to play a unit here. Regardless, our Darkness is way bigger. Um, so she makes any spell that would deal damage or kill something fast, so Darkness are fast now. It's now a 3 mana, 5, um, deal 5 damage fast spell. Very, very good. Very good. 4 to 5. So we can, we can just go ahead and try and kill this. So probably like, do something in our Nexus to level him up, and then we can chain with a Poke Stick or a Vile Feast and finish him off. He didn't have anything. That's crazy. I really expected something there. All right, and then she also levels um, by slaying three plus units with spells. 
And then your spells cost one last that the ones that deal damage or kill something, that is. Um This barrel's not really scary. Cause it's it's not like he runs like I mean, he runs make it rain, but we're just still again, it's just not really scary right now. I could play it's just a smork. Sounds kinda weird, but we do want to finish this game off. Hmm. I guess I'll just poke you stick this. Don't want to lose the mana draw card. Even if he responds, we have ways to answer the response. I mostly just want to draw a card. I maybe could have put Nexus, but I thought this was slightly better. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. Okay. We're going to Vile Feast that. That's the last thing I was thinking about because he mapped it. Not normally in a deck. So how much damage do we have? Four, three, it's seven, seven plus two. So we're not... Well, we're like almost there. Well, we can we can attack with everything technically, and then play this, and then kill him with the darkness. I guess that's a good play. Kind of a weird play, kind of an ignorant play, but I think it's the right one. All right, goes to five here. It's like kind of cool. So we play our next Darkness this round, copy it hitting the Nexus. So this one will hit the Nexus for six, and then we win. Nice. Yep, should be GG here. I mean, he'd have to kill us like immediately somehow. All right. And that's game. Yep. GG. Ah, dang, <laughs> he's gonna kill all our guys too. Okay, well, good game. Alright, up against Scion Draven, the deck I previously hit rank 1 this season, and one of those popular decks on ladder. This should be a great matchup for us. We have tons of ways to heal, remove the low health units. So, I'm going to mulligan for a good early game here. Vile Feast is great against, like, Zion Urchin, stuff like that. Boom Baboon. Just get rid of them, keep our health high, and stabilize and control the game. Um, once we control the game, we can kind of just outgrind them or just finish them off with the Dark Assist. Interesting. Alright. So he's just trying to apply damage early. I respect that. He will lose a card in the process, I guess, aside from the fact he gets a free Twin Blade. But I don't I don't mind that at all. It's definitely not one of the stronger things you could do to open a game. Pass again. Maybe a Boom Baboon here. Okay, he's passing. It's fine. Keeps up an awkward hand until Draven comes down and now doesn't look so awkward anymore. Um, we don't actually have great plays ourselves either. I guess we can just play Otter Post to block. Kind of rough because we don't get the attune here. I maybe could have just drawn two, but I kind of wait till I generate one more card. Now we're cooking. Get the axe. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll try and keep our health high. We already took three, which is a lot. This is an extremely awkward spot. Uh, extremely, extremely awkward spot. Making an axe cost two more to actually matter. Pranks are actually very bad in this matchup um, because they can just discard the card you prank. So things are looking good, but now looking a bit bleak. He does have Lost Souls to hook away our cards, especially Vigar if we play him. Kind of scary, actually. They seem to be a hard time leveling with the plus two cost if he uses that. I maybe should have just drawn two. I'm not sure if I was too greedy. How many Lost Souls do they have? Jeez. Okay. That's fine. Maybe could have Vile Feast it a bit earlier to have a free blocker, but I definitely don't mind. Alright, so now we play Vigar. This will discount this. Now we'll be buffing the Darks each turn. Their discount will still the Roadmaker. Play another one. Discard it again. We definitely want to take this time to draw too, so we don't lose the mana. Catalyzer, interesting. Alright, we should be fine. We have many more for Scion as well. We can definitely stabilize here. If he kills with Lost Soul, we can rekindle it, which is nice as well. Okay. Life Seal. Very good. Life Seal is very good in this matchup. Okay, so now our Darks just cost one less. Very good. I 
think we play Twisted Catalyzer. And try and get it to do one one buff. So then we can kill this. And if he blocks with this, then we can just file boost it. So that's pretty good too. Alright. Definitely coming from behind. We're starting to stabilize ish. That's kind of like what we want to do. Um, in this matchup. I don't want to kill this because he can just play another one. And we're going to rekindle this anyway. So it's on summon if he, when he gets the darkness. So if you rekindle it, we will get a Dark Store handy, his effect. Get another buff. They need to deal with five damage, I believe. So really starting to get uh, everything buffed up here. And again, we have answers for Scion, um, stuff like that. We have healing, get our Nexus back. It's going to be a close one. It's going to be tough, but I think we can do it. I think we can win this game. These are for if he ever draws like the Boom Baboons and stuff, too. Okay, that's actually pretty scary. Um, our darkness costs one. I guess we'll play a lifesteal unit. And then our darkness also hit Nexus. So it'd be easy to level um, the Vigar off this. Then we can rekindle him while he's leveled and uh, all kinds of stuff will go down. Yeah, he kind of has to attack here. Otherwise, we're going to get a really, really potent darkness. He doesn't have to have to, but he might want to at least. I think we just killed the Draven. I don't want any of that overwhelm sticking around. Uh, could be pretty scary, for sure. Either way, Alossal is going to kill uh, a Vigar. He can use an Axe still to kill her, even though Vigar gets extra health. Um, but at least we're getting rid of the Axes, which is fine. Looking really good, actually. Getting the healing going? Okay. Alright, yeah, and we have, we have for Kindler for Vigar, so... Things are really looking up. We have Answer for Scion later. Everything's it's falling into place. And we now have, what, again, one mana, deal five damage, darknesses? Soon to be maybe even better if we can get the, the level of Vigar to send the field when we were born in. Okay, kill Lifesteal unit, kill Vigar, that's fine. Definitely want to trade here, so this way his board is kind of neutralized. We'll take three, but we do have, uh, again, some healing. We can Vile Feast this, which is nice. Round eight. Do we just play Vigar straight up? I think we do. Or I guess we're kindling the Vigar is what I meant. So deals five. That's fine. We have many more for that. Okay. So his open attack's actually not very good. I think we just chill. If we use this now, we get a new one on a round start. I kind of want to Vile Feast this though. I'm not sure. Maybe I, maybe I should have actually used this darkness. Interesting. Looking that. I don't even think I want to take this. No, I guess if he has a burn, like a burn reach, we have healing. It's fine. It shouldn't matter much. Alright. Gonna start going for the Nexus here. And deal 6 to the Nexus. We have another Rekindler and Vigar, so even if he kills this one, we're fine. Okay, what is this? Gonna use his resources to get rid of Vigar. Okay, we still have the Nexus here. Um, stress defense won't save us. That's, again, totally, totally fine. There's all the ways we have to continue to um, revive Vigar. All right. So I think we just win next turn. Right? We can just play, uh... I guess we'll do Rekindler to do it. We'll do Rekindler... We probably should have just played regular Vigar, but this is fine. Um, because we could have had Stress Defense Protect against Mr. Shock, get excited. But yeah, we do Vigar, hit Nexus, generate another Darkness, hit Nexus again, and that's GG. Alright. Alright. Try and hit Nexus again, and that's GG. Alright, good game, good game. Pile through a lot of the pressure, even through Scion, and it, it, we stabilized so easily, there's just no way we can lose at this point. So yeah, games. Alright, we're up against a new deck. It's Atrocity Bandle Gunner. It's really, really weird. Um, honestly, I haven't really played into that much, I just know it exists, so. 
Let's see what we can do here. I guess I'm gonna keep blockers. This can help buff our darkness. It's a good chump block for the tune. This can give us some refuel, some new cards to work with. In general, we should be good. All I know about this deck really is that it runs Bandle Gunners and it runs Atrocity and Tristana. And Tristana can get really huge attack via her effect and then you can Atrocity her in the Nexus. So we have to be careful. Um, for now, I think it, stopping any early game pressure will make it much harder for them to finish with the Atrocity, is my guess. All right, so they run this. Okay, so they run this just for Tristana. I guess you want to really focus on getting Tristana bigger as fast as possible. And take one from the impact. Because yeah, you need to get a really huge potential atrocity. Could be scary. All right, life still could be good in this matchup. Again, making it hard for them to finish with atrocity. This puts pressure on. I'm not sure what their true drop is, but I don't have one. We get an absolutely free strike in here. Granting our darkness one more damage everywhere, and uh, we're gonna get that again because it didn't die. So very, very good start from us. I get, I, I'm kind of like freestyling this matchup. I don't really know what they do. Another protopora, I'm not really afraid of it. I guess we'll just be safe and play a blocker. We can definitely get a third pokey stick here because those other cards are kind of niche. Like I don't think we're gonna find a spot to use them. I'm definitely gonna pass here. If we pass here, then he loses the mana. This is interesting. I guess we'll open attack. I could play this to try and really buff our darknesses, but if we open attack here, this will stay alive. Um, just big. He might group shot it now or something, but we've already got our darknesses buff plus two everywhere. Maybe even plus three soon. Okay, this card's very strong. This is probably a, probably a low roll. Doesn't, I don't think you'd want that over most things. All right. Now our darknesses deal four and cost two. Really good stuff, probably group shot maybe. Okay, pokey stick, yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. All right, not bad, not bad. We have a way to get darkness later too, which is nice. We have a ton of pokey sticks, I'm hoping he just plays right into them. Doesn't seem like his hand had many, I mean, yes, he did have low cost units, and, but we just like trade them normally. Uh, Kind of scary. I guess what we can do here is we can trade down and then finish off with the pokey stick, seems good. Definitely scary. Anytime Poppy's on board without an immediate answer, it's it's scary. This is good too. Good stats, impact. With the stats, so it's the same thing. Trade here, here, and here. Okay. Um, yeah, this seems good. And then, oh, there's more, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, well, we can't really do much about that. Let's Pokey Stick and see what we draw. I guess now we do. Okay, he killed Catal. Did I block the Catalyzer on Poppy? I did. That was a misplay, actually. I should have blocked the other way around, so we could have got the um, the buff off. But regardless, um, we will get a Darkness here, and we can use it to kill Poppy. We want to do this now. We really want to kill Poppy. We maybe could have even pranked first, honestly, just to make sure he has no protection. I don't think they even run protection in this, as far as I know, so we should be fine. But we'll see what happens. I'm liking Mini Morph. Um, I don't think, I don't remember if Gunners has Spell Shield or not. Even if it does, we do a Pokestake to get rid of it. Okay, that's fine. I guess we'll attack first. Studi does. This way he doesn't get a better blocker or anything. Because he probably won't trade to Poppy. Really? I mean, I'm I'm more than down for this. This is this is great for us. Losing five mana. That's all. Or I guess two mana. That's all something I can get behind. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. Kind of afraid of Battle Gunners. I wish I could read it right now because I don't exactly know what it does. What? Uh... I mean, this pass is good for us, but I don't really know what this deck does. Maybe I should play extra save. I should play it extra save. Alright, well now we're definitely passing. I don't know what- his hand ha- okay, well, obviously it's atrocities, right? Should we just see what's in his hand? I guess this is the time to do so. They use this on, um, like, Battle Gunners and Tristana and go for games and stuff like that. We could probably mini more from response, though. I guess I'll just get rid of- or I'll buff- not buff. I'll make the buster shot cost more. Definitely not a buff. It's not what they want. 
Um, I guess we just attack. Um, he's gonna keep that alive. We deal three, easier to finish off the Vigar. I want to read this card. So it does have spell field. I'm summoning if you summon units from four plus three regions, grant me impact four times. Jeez. Um, okay, we'll get rid of the spell shield here while also drawing a card. Okay. I guess we can just play this. I mean, it's this is a one mana deal four now. That's really, really strong. Um, we'll play Dark Fall Acolyte. Get another one. I don't think we quite want to use it that yet, though. I think we want to um, rank first and see what happens. Okay, this is never being played. If that minus two health doesn't matter too much. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just kill it. I kind of want to see Conchologist and see what we get, but I also want to draw cards with Pokestake. I guess we'll just wait. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do, so we can just wait. All right, some more control cards. Uh, we have a lot of healing, stuff like that. So I think what we do here is we bait him into wanting to play Splinter Soul with that card. Because we can mini morph it whenever. We'll, get, we'll just get Trinket Trade for now. Um, we can we can bait it. Like, he'll Splinter Soul into it. And then we can Pokey Stick it and mini morph it. Well, I guess that wouldn't even be good. So what, no, no, okay, so what we do is even better. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. I was gonna say we can, we can Pokey Stick it, then we'll get a 1-1, one, one, and then we Vile Feast the other one. Okay, this is uh, escalating much quicker than I anticipated. Interesting. I mean, maybe it's easier to kill if I just do this. Interesting. Okay, honestly, I think I made a mistake there. Along the lines. Let me go get rid of this now and draw and see what we get. I guess I should have just Pokey sticked it earlier. Just to, like, ensure that we could have uh, mini morphed it on the attack. But either way, it's kind of fine. Alright, I mean any damage to this will make it easier to kill. This block would be kind of annoying, because then we can't like just Vile Feast it, which is what I want to do. But he still takes 5 here, which is pretty big. Alright, fine by me. He might have loose Travelers, that would get rid of Withering Whale. Kind of annoying. Oh, I wanted that. Alright. We'll play the Darkness, 1 mana deal 4, and we'll kill the Vandal Gunners. So we'll also level Vigar off this if he lives. Trinket Trade, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with yet. We could get Otter Puss, but let's see what options we have in front of us before we decide. Okay, we're getting Otter Puss. We'll go ahead and kill this. And then we can play this in Prank, I suppose. Try and make his hand a bit more awkward to use. So this levels him, so now he doesn't die to Buster Shot, which is pretty big. Maybe I could have just played Otter Post and Prank before I did any of this. Just to make it a bit easier to keep Vigar alive in case he has answers. Kind of a weird game right now. Oh, Bandle City Mayor. Out of nowhere. Okay. Do I just double Vile Feast that? I, I think if he had, like, things to play with that, he would have played them a while ago. Like, units. He hasn't played units for so long. I'm really thinking he just has a handful of spells. Okay, I was afraid he would get that one, because that one gives you another free card to work with. And he's already low on units, um, if I'm reading his hand properly. Let's prank. So we hit Astro. Okay, so we had the Astro read right. We can just save this whale, so if he plays this, we can hit multiple things with it. Seems pretty good. Alright. If he played this, I would have actually whaled right now to save some mana. So this is DL5 to anything. We can even hit the Nexus now. What we can do is just play this, then play this, get another one, and then they both go Nexus and we win this turn. 
in theory, assuming he can't kill the Vigar. It seems like he can't. And I'm not really afraid of his pressure with all the healing. Our Gargantus are extremely, extremely cheap in cost. So I'm not really worried about um, our mana. We, we have tons of mana to use, especially at how cheap these Gargantus are now. All right, and this can hit the Nexus for lethal. So we know a lot of cards in the same. We have Charger, Splinter Soul, Buster Shot, Atrocity, and two unknowns. I think we're good here. I think we're good to win. If he kills Vigar, then maybe we'll lose, but I don't think he will. All right, we're going to take it as little damage as possible here. Should be good to go. We have Withering Whale for these two, and also to weaken a lot of their stat lines. So this can go here. Go here, go here, go here. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, board's clear. Darkness to Nexus, and should be GG. Very little counterplay here. Yeah, you can't even like atrocity into this to kill it because it has five health. All right, there you go. One mana, five damage to the Nexus Darkness. Easy. And he keeps generating more and more, so it's it's so crazy how many Darkness you can truly have, and better than the discounts of. All right, that's my Son of Vigar Darkness deck. Again, currently undefeated at Worlds. Really, really strong showing, starting to surge in popularity because of it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe to the YouTube. Feel free to turn on notification bells. I do have daily videos on deck guides every day. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Put in the comments what I can improve on, what you guys want to see, and I'll hope to see you guys next time. So have a good one. Peace.